to say that the actuators come in a pre-open position. This is when they're partially open and it makes it much easier then to mount the actuators onto the manifold. So in the actuator box, you get a small locking collar and that collar sits on top of the manifold. And to fit it, just remove the black decorator's caps that came with the manifold and then screw on the collar finger tight onto the manifold itself and just repeat that process for all of the actuators on the manifold. So to mount the actuator, in this case, we're just gonna feed the wire up the back of the manifold, just to keep it out of the way so we can connect it to the Upanor controller. And it's very simple of just clicking the actuator onto the locking pin. And there's quite an audible click to confirm he's mounted. You can move him gently left to right, but he's mounted solidly onto the locking pin. So once you've mounted the actuators onto the manifold, we're just gonna wire them into this Smatrix Pulse controller. So the actuators come with two wires, a brown and a blue, typically live and neutral for most people. It's not polarity conscious, so it doesn't matter which wire goes into one hole, but the important factor is we only want to plug one actuator into one actuator port. And this is quite simply done by pushing the wire firmly into the hole and it grabs hold of that particular wire. Once you've mounted the actuator and pushed the wire fully home, you can secure it then into the mounting bracket. So now we're going to wire the rest of the actuators sequentially from left to right. Now channels number one and number two have double access points and three to six onwards have single. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you need any help or assistance with your installation you can always pop onto YouTube and look at some of the other Upanor videos that are on there. Alternatively you can contact Upanor at www.upanor.co.uk. Thanks for watching.